Shall we lift our hands one more time and give thanks to God for all that we've seen and all that has been done. All the testimonies, give thanks to God one more time. Tell him thank you for the testimonies of others. And you too will give thanks as you too will testify as you give thanks. Blessed be God forever. In Jesus' mighty name. I don't want you to thank God just as a formality. Anything you don't appreciate God for, we depreciate. For the gift of life that you are seeing the first Sunday in the last month of the year 2023. I want to call you to tell God, thank you for the gift of life. Because you can't buy life with money. He gave it to you free. And when you thank him, then life will continue to be sweeter and better. Go ahead and give thanks to God in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for the gift of life. We are alive to see the first Sunday in the month of December. The last month of the year 2023, we are grateful to you. Are you thanking God from the depth of your heart in the name of Jesus? Thank him and thank him and thank him and thank him and thank him. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life. For giving us life, we are grateful to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have given thanks. He said, the end of a matter is better than the beginning thereof. You will end this month well. You will end this year well. He said, he crowned your year with his goodness and your part drop fatness. Ecclesiastes and Psalm 65 verse 11. I decree this year, God will crown you with his goodness. And your part shall drop with fatness. If you believe the prophetic word, let your amen confirm it. You will declare, Lord, my year shall be crowned with your goodness. And my part shall drop with fatness. Go ahead and declare it in the name of Jesus. You will crown my year with your goodness. And my part shall drop with fatness in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say it. You will crown my year with your goodness. And my part will drop with fatness. That must be fulfilled in my life. The life of this commission, of your ministers. Are you speaking to God exactly what he has said? His word shall not return void. It is what you give voice to that God will answer. Blessed be God forever. In Jesus most wonderful name. As you have declared it, that is how it will be in your life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in this second service, we ask that you speak to us your word. Open our understanding to receive the word of life. In Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. Glory to God. The message is praise for fulfillment of prophecies. It's part two. Praise for fulfillment of prophecies. Prophecies are to be fulfilled. Prophecy is the revealing of God's plan and purpose for an individual people and nation. As a prophecy is the revealing of God's plan and purpose for an individual people and nation. In Genesis 18, if you read 10 to 14, God told the man Abraham as a prophecy, he said, in the appointed time you shall have a child. And Sarah shall bear a son. In fact, the prophecy was so funny that Sarah had to laugh. She said, at this old age, what God says, he will fulfill. And everything that God has said about you, and I've said about me, said about this commission, will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a scripture in Isaiah 55 verse 11, that many of us think that 
He said, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of what? My mouth. I read this scripture. It took me some years back to understand the scripture. It shall not return unto me what? Void. I thought that when God speaks, it's fine. No. The returning has to be done by me. He has declared this word. There's nothing God will declare again except this. So I am the one that will give voice to his word for it to return back to me to fulfill the purpose of which has been said. I may not understand the Bible. When I read it first time, I believe that anything God says is automatic. No, that's not it. Listen. So shall my word be that God forth out of what? There's nothing God will say again. He has said everything here. He's not going to say anything new. Is that true? Now, but it, says, it shall not turn to me for but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper the thing which I send, what where do I send it? So when God speaks this word, I am the one that will take the word and give it a voice, then it will return and fulfill in my that purpose of which he has sent it. I don't understand what God's saying. And it's not God who will do that path. He has said it already. I am the one that will give voice to his word. And then the word will now return to me and fulfill that purpose. And I know today every word of God you declare in line with what he has said will be fulfilled in your life. Yeah. Prophecies are not religious wishes or mere predictions. They are sworn verdicts. They are sworn what? He said in Isaiah 14, 24, the Lord of hosts had sworn, did he hear that? Saying, surely as I have taught, so shall it come to pass, and as I purpose, so shall he stand. That means anything God says is a sworn verdict. It's a sworn what? Most times, prophecies don't agree with human logic. Because God speaks according to what he can do, not what we can do. God does not speak based on what you and I can do. He speaks based on what he can do. And most times they will agree with you. One day Elijah said, by this time tomorrow, ah, one man, an economics man, and if you read the book of Psalm 7, said, how can that be? This is not normal. He said, by this time tomorrow, and there was famine in the land. Just where Hashib is now. And just imagine, with the Hashib, you said that tomorrow you'll be a billionaire. You say, okay, calm down. You know, it has happened, I've shared the testimony with you over and over. When wars are declared, the receiving side matters a lot. God has no problem how you would do it. But money has always been the issue. But so that when God speaks, even you, your natural senses will not agree. The one day I went to a man's house, I've shared it over and over. 31st, on a Sunday, the 31st was on a Sunday that year. And right in his house, and I said, before this year is over, I was saying before this is over by 2 p.m. By when? Sunday, 31st. I said, before this year is over, your story will change. The man himself said, Oh, pastor, understand that today is 31st. And 2 p.m. in the afternoon, which was abnormal. And I was saying by this time, by before the year is over, now, barely I have finished, less than two hours, his head was opened. They called him from government house. An architect said, so Listen, we were looking for an architect that would thought of you. This man was at the lowest point of life, nothing was working for him, but the word went forth, he received it, and heaven was open. That's how he came out of every hardship to today. Now, today I decree every word that has been prophesied in your direction that you believe will be accomplished right in this service. Even if you are this message on any medium, I decree to be established whether online in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe it, say amen to that. Amen. In Genesis 22, it said, concerning when Abraham placed eyes, he said, by myself have I sworn. If you read 17 and 18, if you read from 16 to 18, he said, by myself have I what? He said, God said, in blessing I will bless. He said, I swear. God said, swear not, but he swore. But there's nobody. You, will you say two to God? He has nobody to say to. You know when you want when you want to say two to God, not him, not two to God. He said, "By myself, have I what? Just imagine God said, "I can't swear to anybody. I'm swearing by myself." May God swear concerning you. Yeah. He said, "His hand will bring it to pass." For prophecies to be fulfilled. We must receive and believe the prophecy. We must receive and believe what? 
until the prophetic word is received and believed, it can never get fulfilled. And the word of God is a sure word of prophecy. What about prophecy? The word of God is the most sure word of prophecy. In 2 Peter chapter 1, 19 to 21, it's a, the word of God said, for, so we have also a more sure word, what? Of prophecy. Which is the word of God. A more sure word. It is more authentic than anything else. So here. And every prophetic word is a seed. Is what? Because the word of God is a seed. Luke chapter 8 verse 11. And that seed has to fall on a fertile ground, which is your heart. Verse 15. Luke 8, 11 and 15. When it's on a fertile ground, forget it. It must produce. It must what? In Matthew 13, 22, 23, Jesus speaking about the parable of the sower. He said that he received the seed on what? I heard the word and understand it. Bearing fruit. So when you understand the word of God, what will you do? You bear fruit. How many will have understanding today? Say, Lord, give me understanding. Lord. Say it one more time. Lord. So, and you have understanding, say, to produce 100 fold, 60 fold, 30 fold. Now, if I receive God's word, I believe and I receive it, and understand what God is saying, then things begin to work. Is that true? Glory to God. Now, listen, one day, a young lady called Mary was told she was going to have a child. <laughs> that was abnormal. That was what? Without a man. But she believed. She did what? Listen. Some things God will tell you, your human senses can't accept it. It's easy to preach it now. Just imagine Mary. There was nobody like that before her. If they tell you you can have a man, you can remember Mary now and agree. Before Mary, there was nobody. So just imagine she was told that you are going to have a child without a man. You know, just imagine what has gone through her head. Are you understanding me? Hmm? In your village, nobody has had... 10 billion. Maybe you are living in one room. And then all of a sudden a word came to you. You'll be the first billionaire. You know you shake first. It's easy to agree if you have handled some money. But you are just maybe paddling canoe. You know what canoe is? You are paddling canoe. You know cricket. <laughs> and then a word comes to you. You that is paddling canoe, you'll be a millionaire. You go back. You turn back again. You say, excuse me. Okay, come. He said, who? Me? From Ogoloma? No. <laughs> okay? Calm down. No. God does not speak based on what is happening. He speaks based on his size. It can take a janitor to become a jet owner. That's who our God is. It does not speak. The previous day, Joseph was in prison. The next day was the prime minister. <laughs> 24 hours too much. Three hours what? I decree today, before this year ends, goodness and mercy will follow you. In verse 45 of chapter 1 of Luke, is and blessed is she that what? For there shall be a performance of those things which were told down from the Lord. Because she believed, God said, this prophecy must be fulfilled. When prophecy is received in faith, performance is sure. As believers, we have the responsibility to see prophecies come to fulfillment. Everything that God has said about you and I will be fulfilled right now in the name of Jesus. You don't watch prophecies. You do something for prophecies to be fulfilled. In 1 Timothy 1.18, it said, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies. So many things have been said about you this year. Is that true? That which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest what? War. One way we war our prophecies of fulfillment is through praise. Is through what? We praise God for the prophecies to be fulfilled. Praise is appreciating God for who he is. So I hear. When we praise God for any prophetic word, we move him to fulfill the word in our lives with speed. With what? In God will I praise his word. Psalm 56 verse 10. In the Lord will I praise his word. 
Now, I'll give you some scriptural examples of prophecies fulfilled through praise. Through what? Prophecies fulfilled through praise. Scriptural examples. So, in mathematics, you look at the example and solve your own problem. Scriptural examples of prophecies fulfilled through praise. A, Abraham. Abraham had a prophetic word concerning the birth of his son of promise. In Genesis chapter 17, 4 to 8, the promise was made. In Genesis 18, 9 to 14, the promise was what? Was made that Abraham will have what? A son at old age. That was the prophecy. God has said something about you that you are going to be the head and not the tail. You will lend to nations and not borrow. He said that find it, the wife find it what? That's the prophecy. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Are you hearing me? That's it. Prophecy is every word of God. Notice that prophecy is only when someone stands to do like this. He said, This is the short word of I'll bless you and all nations shall call you. That's a prophecy. Every word of God here must be fulfilled. So I hear. Now, that was the prophecy to Abraham. But Abraham had to engage the power of praise for the prophecy to be fulfilled. I mean, understand it. Glory to God. In spite of all odds and contradictory circumstances, Abraham did not look at this contradiction. He stood on the integrity of the world and praised God. Romans chapter 4, 17 to 21, but 20 is the key verse. As it is written, I have made the father of many what? That was what was said to him in Genesis 17 and 18. Are you clear? Before you will be believed, even God would quicken the dead and call those who would be not as though they were. Who again so believe what? They might become the father of many what? According to that which was spoken, as it be. Then there was no Bible, so it was spoken. Is that clear? And be not weak what? Please, no prophecy can be fulfilled if you doubt. If you what? One thing about prophecy is that once you doubt, you'll be damned. When God speaks, don't doubt. Don't what? Let me give you a, a testimony. When God said we should start the cathedral, believe you me, the money was not there physically. If I ever doubted, that place wouldn't have been built. God said, go and pray. God do what? Well, the billions have entered there. Billions, not millions, of billions. Sand alone is in billions. Sand. What does it? Not sound. Sand. S A N D. Sand. Not sound. Is it what? That candidate can build a village. There are villages where some of you come from. The old houses. Bring them down. The money they can build all some of your villages. True? <laughs> Are you have said that? That the whole of your some of your villages, you include your house that you build, I think it's fine. <laughs> that can, 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 can build the whole of your village. Every house, block house, block house, block, including my house where you came from. <laughs> now God told us and we stood on the integrity of the word of God. All we did was to praise God. What, what? Is it working now? With this praise today, whatever God has said to you will be fulfilled in your life. <laughs> Abraham did not stagger at what God told him. Now in verse 20 to save time, he said, and was strong in faith. Giving what? Glory to God is praise. So the last step to that prophecy to be fulfilled is what? Praise. So here, as God said anything to you, it will be fulfilled today. Amen. I say it will be fulfilled today. Amen. Even if you say Abraham time, look at our cathedral, that's enough. Every time we praise God, shh. Every time we praise God, shh. They brought bills. He asked Samson when he was preaching. When they bring bills, <laughs> I don't shake. It's not my building. Everything you hear there. Two point something million dollars. They call the dollar like they are calling naira. 
seven million dollars. They just called it ten million dollars. So this one is five hundred thousand dollars. This one is three point two million dollars. You will hear everything dollar, 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 dollar. When cover to Nara, your head will swell. <laughs> if you don't have faith, if you don't have it's not to build a house, it's to finish the house. You know what I mean? If it's block work, that kind of windows have been fixed. Oh, you know, we can enter. You know, if people finish the house with the window, they enter. But a man who has money, that's just the beginning of the house. The finishing cost more, cost more than the building. If it's most churches, we would enter. Roof has been done, windows have been fixed, we enter. <laughs> AC alone is how many billions? AC alone is billions. Everything is billions. GI is seven point something million dollars. <laughs> Sound. Uh, everything million dollars. Okay. Put your offering since you came to this church. <laughs> You're tight. <laughs> Pitch it out of it. Are you under pressure? No, but so it's praise. Say praise. praise. Stop analyzing. How how would you Mama is talking. On that is the economy. He's saying that. Me, me. Does he know my village? I'm from Bite Krokrotai. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying you this will work. No, stop analyzing issues. Just give God praise. How he will do it is not your business. You will end this year well. Amen. You will end this year well. Amen. I say you will end this year well. <laughs> Even if you're from Krokrotai. Just take crocro tie. And then tie yourself well with the priest. With the priest. Abraham moved God to fulfill his word through what? Priest. And said, I gave bad. Said, I gave bad. Contrary to medical and human verdict. Medically, at 90, it's impossible to have a child. No, no. She is, has not menopause. Her own is Papa Paul's. She has passed menopause and papa pause. Even if you do IVF, it won't work. Right? True, but God did it. True? And what was the secret? Praise. Whatever men have said is impossible, by this praise, God will make it possible. Amen. And then, so I made a statement in Genesis 21, 1 to 6. He said, all that we hear will join me to laugh. You will end this year laughing. Amen. So if you are not, what I'm saying, the prophetic word, I say you end this year laughing. Amen. I say you end this year laughing. I say you end this year with laughter. Amen. This year will not end until you laugh. Amen. If you believe it, say amen. Amen. It takes high places to get to your high places. God will move you to your high places by high places. Say right here. Second example is Joshua. Second example is who? B, Joshua. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, God said to them when three nations came against Judah that they don't need to fight in verse 17. He said, You don't need to fight in this battle. He said, I'll fight for you. Now, that should make them keep quiet. Is that true? But that could not be fulfilled until verse 22. They said, And when they began to praise, when they began to what? To sing and to praise, God said that bushman. So there's that God said He would do something for you. Does not mean to be automatic until you praise. I'm not understanding the Bible. Abraham was told, but he had to praise. Joshua was told, but he had to praise. So God has said to you, He will do something in your life. You have to praise. Say so here, He said He will build the cathedral, but we have to what? Praise. Many people pray, very few praise. Check the Lord's prayer. Our which are in praise. The word, the power and what? What is it? It started with what? Praise. Ended the prayer with what? Praise. But many of us will just go to the middle. Father, give me this day my daily bread. No praise. God said you are protesting. Even if you are a protestant. So here. Mm. Today, God will fight your battles. Praiseful saints, saints are never stranded in life. Do you want to see prophecy fulfilled? Then take the power of 
praise. If you want the prophetic words to be fulfilled in your life, you give God quality praise. Until you understand this aspect of the Bible, you don't take delivery of what God has said. God is not joking. He's ready to do what he said he would do. But what do you do? What's your own part? What's your own part? You know, praise is very simple, so people don't take it. People prefer to do 40 days prayer without understanding the Bible than to praise. There are people who have never praised God in their life. There are people, in fact, if you say praise, say only to dance. Yeah, you mean to dance? Is that what God will do something? I bet I'm going to do 40 days dry fast. <laughs> dry what? You, <laughs> dry. <laughs> you go dry, you. <laughs> try first. Don't try it. Too. Don't try it. I told a man of God, I said, sir, God saved you. You fasted without eating food for some days. Don't do it again. I was joking. He fasted, fasted, said, was joking, fasted. He fasted, fasted to a point. He lifted him out of the room. <laughs> so when he told me, I said, sir, don't do that kind of fast. When you fast break, he said, no, I'll do it. He has not recovered for almost eight years now. That's not wisdom. That's not what? Dry fast. You did not drink water. You did not eat food. By the 56th day, it was off. This, everything in his brain dried up. They carried him as a corpse. Today he has not recovered. Almost going to 10 years. They carried him to Germany. They carried him to everywhere. I pray for him. And I just, every day I keep praying for him. I say, God, restore this man. Out of ignorance, this thing happened. Please restore him. Every time from my heart, I keep praying for him. And I pray he will be restored. Amen. A great man of God. But praise, many of us don't praise. We just fast. Say, I'm doing. Have you ever fasted? Where you want to cross road, you forgot. <laughs> I don't mean you can't fast, so please don't misquote me. But don't fast to a point where you cannot even carry your legs to move. Die fast. <laughs> <laughs> one man of God <laughs> he said Papa ignorance is bad though I fasted I fasted I was, he was going for crusade <laughs> you know that kind of fasting when they used to do out of ignorance they would not eat for seven days seven days they don't eat they won't break then he was fasting then when he got to crusade he said we forgot that he was fasting I said can the microphone he fainted <laughs> he said the next thing he had, you will not die. You will not die. You will not die. <laughs> the members were not praying for him, pouring water. <laughs> you will not die. You will not die. He said, Papa, when I opened my eyes, I saw the people in their head down there. <laughs> the building was rotating. I said, Boy, he said, Boy, the whole building was moving in my eyes. So I saw everybody as if their legs were up, their head were down. <laughs> He said, when he teach praise, they won't understand. If he comes to church, he comes here. You won't know him. I won't call his name. <laughs> Anytime he comes, he'll be jumping. He said, Papa, they don't know what praise is. <laughs> that you teach praise, they don't understand it. Me, I dance very well because I almost died. <laughs> that where I came from, we don't praise, we don't dance. We just, everything is power of mind, power of mind. This church, we praise God, we balance it, we fast, we also praise. When you fast, 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 close it with praise. Don't all those kind of fasting, just do like this. <gasps> <laughs> Please combine the two, eh? When you pray, pray, pray. Also, combine it with praise. But everything God has said about you will be fulfilled today. Yeah. How to praise God for the fulfillment of prophecies? One, praise with understanding. Praise with what? Psalm 47, 6 to 7. Your understanding will ignite faith. We ignite what? Faith. Number two, praise with a joyful heart. With a what? Joyful heart. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, yet I will rejoice. Is that true? Habakkuk 3, 17 to 18. Sadness can stagnate your life. Don't praise God being depressed. Are you hearing me now? You are not the only one who have challenges. People have challenges before they came to church. Just praise to turn the situation on around. Look at the man Joseph. He was kept in prison, but he was excited. He was what? 
They accused him falsely. He was excited. He was joyful. That was why God took him to the throne. You get to your own palace. Amen. When you feel with you are filled with joy, it explains to praise. Psalm Luke 2, 10 to 11. Luke 2, 10 to 11. He said, Angel of the Son to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good wealth of great joy, which shall be to all people. Although he is born this day in the city of David, which is what Christ the Lord. Be joyful. Jesus, at least you have Jesus in your life. You know, through, if you have nothing, you have Christ. So be joyful. You what? Then number three, praise God with his word. Praise God with his Psalm 56, verse 10. Then number four, praise with faith. Hebrews 11, verse 6. Praise with what? Faith. Without faith, cannot please God. That coming to God must believe. Or you praise your praise is backed with faith, it cannot produce. Every prophetic work concerning you and I this year and beyond will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen. Rise to your faith. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Has God said anything to you? Yes, then praise God. Tell them praise God. Praise Tell your neighbor praise God. Praise As you praise God, the prophetic word praise will be fulfilled. Praise Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. I've given you examples. Abraham, praise God. Is that through? Jeshua, yes. praise God. This church did what? If it's, look, if it's just tight and offering, cathedral will never be built. Are you hearing me now? <laughs> cathedral will never be, it's praise. Oh. The major secret is what? It's not tight and offering. It's praise. God said it, we went to praise. Is that true? And then God is building. God is what? And we are still building other churches. Oh. Don't you know, God, other churches are still going on. Open, we are still buying properties. We are still buying what? Life is still going on. Is that true? Bayasa is being built. It's a massive cathedral. They have a very massive one in Bayasa. Are you guys now? Other ones are there. We have finished building Benway State. We have one of the finest churches in the fact about the finest in Makoti. One of the finest churches. We have churches everywhere. We are buying properties everywhere. It doesn't affect the cathedral. Is it your money? How much did you give? Well, I calculate your money now. You say that my money. Calculate the money where you don't give since you come. One pillar, one pillar of the cathedral, your own money will give in the marriage. This is strong mystery that gives mastery. I want you to forget about how God will do it. It's not your... If Abraham began to analyze, you know, he would have had a child. If Abraham went there and said, Father, you know, I'm 100. I'm impotent. How? I can't sleep with my wife. Look, I forget. Not would have happened. Not would have... Because some of us, we analyze too much. Too much analysis leads to paralysis. We, we design economy. Dollar is one to this. Now, I want God. I say I will go for international business. Visa alone, no way. I have primary six. Um, my village is Bolo. Um, how do I... You are, you are too stupid to begin to analyze that. Leave that one to God. Your own is, Lord, you said so. Now I believe it. I am giving you praise. Make it come to pass. How he will do it is not your business. How can Joseph go to war without arms and won the battle? God said you don't need to fight in this battle. How can the cathedral be built without any stress on the members? God did it. Is that true? If you say Joseph had his Bible, now nah, Bible is real to your face. True? Are you hearing me now? Go to that. Now, nah, every member, go there. You are free to enter. Just enter. But tell you, the cathedral, you do like this. You'll be thanking God till you go around. You go see money raw. You see raw money. Raw. You go see money, they breathe there. <laughs> I can answer that. <laughs> so forget it. I've seen God enough to doubt Him. Are you going to praise God? Yes. Now, for the next nine minutes, every church, give God, look, sing better songs. So. <laughs> and you, you are going to praise God for, for the church. Lord, the good work you have begun concerning the cathedral, you will perfect it. You do what? That's for church. Then you look at your life. Lord, what has God started? What has God said? Make it happen according to your word. Is that clear? For this second service, focus on the cathedral. For the church. Then for yourself, you know what you want. Don't you know what you want? Lord, you said so. Now make it happen. 
Let's go. All church is nine minutes. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
declare Lord by this praise let everything about the criteria be made perfect Amen. then you know what you want also go ahead in the name of Jesus Present your own request to God. Tell him to perfect our concerns you. By this praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Because you have asked God to perfect that concerns his own church, everything that has to do with your project will be made perfect. Your own project will not struggle to build it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hear this, people of God. You cannot praise God until you are born again. Any praise without accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior is mere entertainment. You must accept him as your Lord and Savior. Wherever you are, you are not born again. Repeat these prayers after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I declare you my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, please, while others take their seats, you keep standing.